So to answer the fact that why did your hair fell off, fall out is because I had it cut. Yes, I had my dreadlocks cut, simply put it. And uh, that wasn't a plan. That wasn't actually intentionally like, I plan to cut my dreadlocks, so I'm gonna just do them this way. It's a banger! Why did uh, your dreadlocks fall off? It's not what it looks like, see? Um, my dreadlocks didn't fall off because I was bleaching it. Um, a lot of people start commenting on my videos and telling me that. The main reason my dreadlock fell out is because of one reason. And uh, you guys have seen in the past two years, two and a half years of my dreadlocks, um, me, you know, dyeing my hair, bleaching my hair a lot of times. And so a lot of you guys had assumed, did your dreadlock really fell out? question mark um i would never bleach my hair or my hair gonna fall out like that and uh it's of course a misconception that started when i originally tried to dye my hair to platinum uh platinum silver which is you know what i have right now but at that point you know uh i was really trying to achieve this goal that i set my you know my mark towards and uh, i knew that a lot of people wanted to see that over 1k people voted, you know, 1,000 people voted. And out of 1,000 people, I saw about 50% of that who wanted me to dye my hair platinum. And uh, that's like 500 people, <laughs> that's crazy. So, you know, our original intention was to go to a different color and I had to change route at that point. I had to give the people what they want. YouTube is not just a personal channel when you think about it. It is what people want. You bring in what people want, they're going to see it. If they bring in something that people don't want, they ain't going to see it. <laughs> they ain't going to click on the video. You know what I mean? And so I, you know, put my goal when I set it to where I need to get there. I noticed that my hair needed about three, four, five bleaches just to get that platinum blonde. And uh, as you keep bleaching your hair, what happens is that it keeps going to a different color. Uh, and this color is like a platinum blonde, but at the same time, the orange or the yellow look to it after a while starts to go away because of how much you have kept on persisting with the same amount of bleach and with the same amount of time. And uh, your hair at that point starts to turn to a, a color called silver or gray or really like a no color look. It almost look like a whitish gray purple. Not even purple, I don't think it's purple to it, but sometimes it may be if there's some blackness left to, to your dreads. And so I was trying to achieve that goal and it just seemed like I couldn't get there. It seemed like it was hard for me. Uh, and that's when I pulled these hair out. These hair came out of the side of my head. Oh. Oh my God. Oh shoot, the other one is hanging too. Um, as you can see, the big patch. And that patch is literally a bunch of small hairs that were uh, supposed to be connected to here. And this is actually, this is the roots of it. I don't know if some people think if this is the root. No, this is not the root. This is the root right here. This is where it got cut off. And so as you can see, it can be connected back. And uh, that's literally what happened. On the video that I was bleaching and dyeing my hair, I had reconnected these dreadlocks back to my hair. And I was, you know, I thought I was, I forgot about it. I thought everything was cool. And as I was bleaching, I started grabbing hair and start applying the bleach. And, you know, you got to tug on it, you know, here and there. You got to pull it, you got to put it in a ponytail so that the other hair don't hit the bleach, don't get the bleach on them and stuff like that. So as you're going a little bit rough to it, you accidentally, you know, apply those pressure that, that doesn't really need to be applied to, to these ones. So these end up falling out. And uh, yeah, this is a result. But the original why this actually came out is different than the platinum hair that I was dying to get to and I accidentally pulled it out because it wasn't connected. Like I said, it was a reconnected dreadlock at that point, at that video. A lot of people assumed that it was, you know, done, cut off, activists lost some hair. We can't bleach our hair, we can't do this and do that. But that's not the truth. And that's why I want I made this video so that you guys can hear the truth of it. Uh, bleaching your hair is very, 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 very risky situation, uh, especially when it comes to um, dreadlocks. And then the reason being is that your hair is already locked up 
within itself. And so, you know, let's say you don't wash out your bleach completely out and you leave some bleach down in there in the inside the drill locks where the main root is at. And uh, when I say the root, uh, or the stem or the main middle part is so think about a drill lock right and inside the drill lock think about another drill lock like this and that drill lock the main source of that is the reason why your drill lock is able to grab other hair and make it part of the drill lock, make it part of the lock so this is the process of locking and now you have the main part the middle part the thing that grabs other hair and so now when you're bleaching your hair, you are leaving some of those bleaches if you're not washed out, for example. That's why I say this is risky. If you leave some of the bleaches down in there, the bleaches can literally start eating your hair. Uh, bleach, I don't know if you ever applied it, but it gets hot. It gets hot because that's how it bleaches. That's how it starts to strip away. Its ability to strip away continues to grow and grow and grow. If you ever leave a bleach just with the developer and leave it somewhere, you're going to see it expanding and expanding and expanding. And so if you don't wash your hair out, for example, what happens is it starts eating the inside of your root, the main thread that's inside of there, that, that the ones that keeps that keeps, you know, it's like a tree, the stem. You know, it has branches. So the stem part is literally just falling apart. Now it gets really thin and thin and thin to where it strips off. And that's why a lot of people that are, you know, facing like thinness of dreadlocks is because the stem, the root or the tree of it, it is not as strong anymore. It is not as holding other branches around it or other leaves around it to stay strong. And so it starts to thin out. And so that's why in the back of your head, you know, your dreadlocks start to thin out more often because you sleep there and you're rubbing your hair out and you're rubbing it, you're rubbing it, you're rubbing it. A lot of pressure happens in the back of your head because you usually, you know, put a ponytail, pineapple style, different things. And, uh, you know, all those things add up. And the less friction sometimes is the less better. And that's why I don't recommend a lot of people to retwist their hair all the time because it's kind of like that's counterintuitive uh, or counterproductive to what you're trying to get. Uh, and that is to have a really nice thick drill or a really neat whatever size it is if it's thin drill log then to maintain that thinness and not to go thinner and so going back to my original saying is that with drill log bleaching there is a lot of risk to it and uh, with those a lot of risk a lot of people don't know how to go about bleaching their hair or you know how long they're supposed to have it what kind of developer they need to use and that's why i dedicated myself whenever i started doing it to do it the nicest way the proper way healthy way in a way because it's not really healthy but the healthiest way as possible so that i can maintain my drill log and you guys see my drill log. Uh, this is from the journey that I started two years ago, two and a half years ago, till now. You don't see anything thinning out. You don't see anything going bad. Why did it do that, Activerse? Why did your drill log fall out? Because all we saw you do is bleach your hair, do this, do that. Your hair doesn't look healthy and different things. Uh, the truth of the matter is my hair is actually pretty healthy. It is pretty kept well. Uh, the recently the silver that I applied, I don't know if you guys seen in the last video, is a, it's a wax type of material. And so when we wash it out, we will definitely see how that will end up. I've done some research on it and it doesn't have a, a big effect. It's just a semi-permanent color, uh, which will come out with the water. And if, even if it doesn't come out, I think the silverness that I applied to my hair has a great look to it. And uh, the last thing that we're gonna deal with probably is gonna be buildup. And uh, you know, ACV rinse helps out with that. So I will definitely uh, go into that route to get that out. So to answer the fact that why did your hair fall out is because I had it cut. Yes, I had my dreadlocks cut simply put it and uh that wasn't a plan that wasn't actually intentionally like i plan to cut my dreadlocks so i'm gonna just do them this way no it is that i believe in myself and sometimes when you believe in yourself your confidence turned into cocky and not knowing exactly the level that you're able to do and accomplish some things and i believed in my skill tremendously well i believed in myself tremendously well uh and it became that maybe cockiness you would say because confidence is knowing who you are and cockiness is thinking that you're something but you're not so you know i used to ball play basketball here and there back in the days um and so i thought i had the same skill as i used to because i used to shoot 30 a game uh you know like I used to average, you know, 10 assists and different things like that in 2K, you know, um, but in real life, I really didn't have that much experience. And so I ended up being challenged by a person that, you know, wanted to play me one-on-one. -on -one and I said, what, what's the bet? And um, he didn't have anything in my mind was like, hey, man, uh, if you're confident enough, put your dreads up. And I'm like, I'm confident. Yeah, I can do this. I can really do this. Come on, are you kidding me? I'll drop 40 today. How about if you beat me, shave my hair? <laughs> I beat y'all to the same. Wait. <laughs>
Yeah. Right. Okay. One on one. Actually, I'm gonna change in that case. <laughs> 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 End up dropping four points, maybe a few more than that actually. But I, I ended up getting dropped, you know what I mean? And so I bet it at that time, you know, I dreadlocks versus his hair. Uh, indeed, I was going to shave his hair. I had to keep my words when he beat me. We played two, uh, three games, uh, was best out of, you know, three. And so he beat me. He outbested me in basketball. And so, yeah, that's how I ended up cutting my hair. So, uh, yeah, don't worry, guys. If you guys are bleaching your hair, don't worry that, you know, don't think that you're in risk and danger unless, you know, you're not watching the videos and really learning from it because I put out about four videos of how to bleach hair, uh, four videos of how to dye hair and different things. And that's to help you avoid those mistakes. So this is not a mistake of a bleach. This is just a mistake of uh, arrogance in a way. I'm guessing you're planning to do something with your dreadlocks. What is the yeah. future of your dreadlocks? Uh, the future for my dreadlock um, is that I want to continue to grow on my dreadlocks. I'm committed to do that. I'm um, bringing a brand, a new brand. Um, I'm closing down Activerse.com, uh, which has been 50% off and tremendously and uh, an amazing website because uh, half of the items are sold out. Actually, all of them all except one item is sold out, and that is the Activers uh, Cross, uh, which I had ordered intentionally um, double ordered than the other ones because people had uh, really liked it originally when I brought it out. So it's going to basically uh, be shut down. A new brand is coming out, like I said. I'm excited to announce the new brand. I'm excited to tell you guys what it is uh, because it's going to change the whole community at Drillocks. And yeah, uh, if you want to be part of it, you can already be subscribed to my channel. Uh, hit the bell button so that you know, you'd know be one of the first people to find out about a lot of things. What are you going to do when you hit 30,000 followers? When we hit $30,000, I'm mean, giving them the chance, uh, the Activers family, I call them Activers, Fam, uh, the opportunity to be reviewed uh, by me on you know on the channel and so when we hit $30,000 that is my promise and as you guys have been seeing it I've kept my promise kept my word and I will keep my word so $30,000 $30,000 $30,000. Bring me $30,000. Bring me $30,000. I'm giving drill locks to everybody, right? But uh, 30,000 uh, subscribers, give me that, and I will review um, people's drill locks. And I would love to do that. I've done it about two, three times thus far. What is the next color of your drill locks? Uh, to answer that is tough and difficult because a lot of people want to see different things from me. Um, I believe it's up to Activers family. Um, I might take the route to make this decision myself and not even, you know, uh, put it out there for them to pick uh, because if they pick, of course I have to do it. But I have one dreadlock color that I've been wanting to get and it'll be for the purpose of marketing even the next uh, brand that is coming out soon. And uh, yeah, and I think that will be a surprise to everybody. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, all right, that sounds good, man. Thank you, Activers, for coming out. What is the last thing that you have for the audience that's watching uh, the video that you want to say, advice, or anything like that? Um, if you're a dreadlock, if you're in a dreadlock community, please support other dreadlockers. Um, <laughs> dreadlockers. Uh, show support, show some love, because this community has a lot of potentials, and uh, this is just the beginning of a lot of communities. A lot of people um, are, you know, making videos now or having Instagram accounts and different things like that, and that's what we like to see, you know. With me, for example, I am uh, going to open up an opportunity for people to share their journey on a Drillock community page. That is, that will be soon to, to come out. Uh, and so it has no benefit for me, but it is just to grow. The community needs to grow. Uh, and the only way the community can grow is if we all work together. And so I would just like to say that besides that, hey, follow me on Activerse. Hey, hey, I got my YouTube. I got my Instagram. You know, shout out to me, you know, to my boys, to my homeboys, you know what I mean? Shout out to the Amido E. Dick, you know what I'm saying? Uh, from back in the hood, you know what I mean? Uh, that's where we came from, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them and everything. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm out.